everyone and welcome yourselves back to the finale of Lost Ollie, a show I've had absolutely incredible privilege of living through and watching. And, you know, I said this in episode one and I said if it kept it up and if it kept and to the point of being successful and just having great CGI and emotional moments. And I think this has to be one of my all-time favorite pieces of media. I said this in the last episode, the finale made it that. I said there's a couple of issues, but in my mind, this is something I may put in that category that not many things fit into. It may be a bold statement because, you know, everyone finds issues in everything and everyone finds different things in you know everything this to me is a is a genuine masterpiece um the people behind this are geniuses they took care with it the voice casting was brilliant um and i'm going to dive more into the entire series into my series review which will be out um shortly or soon uh this week definitely but i'm going to tell you why i loved this finale hit the subscribe board leave a like let me down below your thoughts on Lost Ollie episode four. And be sure to check out my previous three episodes. Spoilers ahead. Let's go. So, Lost Ollie was, to say the least, a genuinely emotional episode with so much awesomeness. It truly was a full circle episode. It elaborated everything. It confirmed things. It revealed things. And it was just such an emotional episode. Yeah, like with the mom. Uh, you know, the scene I want to talk about the most. And I think this one is the one that got me. You know, I, I, I don't get emotional in many things um, in the media world, the TV world, whatever it may be. But the scene where she speaks to Ollie and there's that realisation that she can see Ollie because she believes, because she has allowed herself to come down to this child mindset of Billy and care so much about what he is into. And the scene simply broke me. And it's that, it's, you're probably wondering, you know, why and I, I say this because it's that loss of such a huge fear in Billy's life and how devoted and how caring she was and how driven she was to make sure Billy would stay a kid for as long as he could. The dad, on the other hand, tried his very best, not for the sake of because he wanted to. He tried to push Billy to be an adult because of the situation the mum was going through. And you got to see a really good scene. The scene that also was so emotional. You know, there's so much that goes in this episode. I'm still going to be going back and forth between scenes. But these are the scenes that stand out to me. It's in the car. You know, he's dealt with the bully. Such an incredible bar scene, by the way. Standing up for himself. Um, you know, he's been out in the rain. He's been uh, looking for Ollie. And then his dad's like, you've done X, Y, and Z. And you're thinking, oh, he's going to tell him off, he's going to shout at him, and he goes, that's one hell of a day, and they just, they just share this smile and emotional moment, and I just think it was the solid, the, 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 uh, like, the glue that made this show come together. We knew the mum was a good character, we knew she was going to have emotional scenes, because obviously, sadly, because confirmed in the classroom scene, when he's in the suit, and back in school, uh, it's confirmed that his mother has passed away, sadly, you know, an amazing woman in his life, who cares so much deeply about Ollie and Billy and that they kept them together. And you know what made me, you know, I get it's acting, but it's a, I, it shows how horrible kids simply can be. And obviously I'm glad he dropped him later in the episode. But the fact that, you know, he was bullying him, people stood up for him and you saw the quirkiness and the weirdness in him and was going along with it. But this one bully pushed him around, threw Ollie outside, and that's where the story began. So because he he said he didn't want to be a kid, he left Ollie outside, where obviously Ollie was, you know, taken to the junkyard, uh, to, the, to the to the shop. That's where the story began. Uh, and obviously Billy's regret came in later, which obviously was the whole searching in the woods, putting the posters up. And it was, there's another scene that in a minute that truly broke me. Um, this episode was full of uh, crazy scenes. 
but you get this scene where um Ollie is you know he's felt he's felt the neglect now he's annoyed but then he gets this memory at the one I'd set off you know the mum says you got to look after him and he realizes it's not just about what Billy did it's about what his mother wants him to do and he cares so much about Billy that he can't let a situation like this happen and neglect it and the scene that I'm talking about is this it's the scene of where he finally makes it home it follows the scene of where Billy and his dad have got will leave a light on for Ollie and you're thinking, oh, he's finally going to get home. And because we knew he was close, we knew he was in the garden or somewhere. He gets home. And you're thinking, oh, by the way, and Zozo Ray, and Rosie do not appear until a couple of scenes after this one. Well, scene after, this scene I'm talking about in a minute. And you get there and you get to the house where, you, you know, they'd left the light on. There was a car. And you're thinking, this is where the mind. Bog- boggling situation comes in boarded up a mess no car no lights on and you're thinking holy hell the distance in time Ollie's been missing for years basically and I don't think it's because it's been years in a sense it's probably taken him years as well to travel you know, because if we, you know, you think of him coming to certain distances, it's t- probably taken hours and hours and hours to get to specific places. Um, and it was such a moment like, oh my God. And then Zozo rocks up basically and then you have a fire and then he explains that obviously there was another scene where Nina is revealed to have been the doll of Mother. Mother is the girl who took care of Nina from the carnival. And I sort of guessed it, obviously, whilst I was watching, I didn't obviously tell you guys, but I was like, oh, my God, because that's why they call mother and father. The dad's called Stu, I think, but her name was never revealed. So I think that was an incredible reveal, and that's why Ollie has the bell for a heart. And then a crazy scene takes place where he basically goes to kill Ollie, and he goes, Ollie's like, if you want the bell, take it. And, you know, it's like, Zozu steps back and is like, nah, I don't want to take it. And he rips it out of him. I'm like, oh my god, he's a maniac. But then Rosie rocks up and stabs him. Her last hurrah, because she'd have been stabbed, obviously, by Zozu at some point, I think, at the carnival at the end of episode three. And then basically them two just floated away. And it was such an emotional end for Rosie, who redeemed herself and finally fought, sat, finally stood up for the person who was a horrible person in her life. Zozu died, Rosie died, uh, but Ollie just sat there drowning till he was saved again another scene that made that just made the whole series go full circle in episode one ollie came across a young girl who was with her dad uh, and you know because we saw the guy's face in the gift in the shot and we're like okay it's just a random dude it's a random girl she said ollie come with me and he's like i have to wait for my my billy and it's like, I, I, actually, I genuinely don't know if um, she said her dad's name was Billy. I can't remember. I, I might have to go and check that out. But this guy picks up, and then it's not showing us his face because if they did, we'd be like, oh my God. And they go into the room, and he's like, I got you a toy. And he turns around, it's like, Ollie. And it's like, God. oh my God, it's the girl. And he goes, it's the dad. It's Billy. And he's like, oh my God, it was just so incredible how all these pieces have come together. And basically, if he had just gone with the girl, he would have been with Billy the entire time. But it was this thing of because he didn't know he was an adult and he was looking for this kid version who had gone to all these different places. So even though Billy was at the carnival, he was never at the carnival at the same time as Ollie. Nina had been gone for years, and Zozo had been searching for years. It was such a crazy time, a crazy episode with so much going on, so much happening, and this is how you direct and produce and write and make sets and scenes and the CGI and the stop motion, the puppetry or whatever they did to make these characters come to life and move and work and speak and interact and make a convincing world and the world building you know the wall Billy had passed on to his daughter 
you know, the, the sets, you know, that have been left in wreck because basically they literally just moved next door and built a new house. But because of the darkness, they did not see that. A phenomenal elite tier show that just kept me on my toes with brilliant characters. And I got to say, this show is one of the, the, the greatest. Um, you know, it brings together what we have always wanted to see, maybe from the Toy Story live action, which I said in my one of my early reviews, and it truly captivates the child aspect, the emotional, the adventure, the dreaming, and there's so many more, and everyone involved in this, from, from the top to the bottom, your elite standard, your elite worthy people and i hope i get the opportunity to for my podcast to talk to some of the people involved with this because oh my god it was just perfect absolutely perfect i can literally overlook the zozu nina connection being as intense as it was but because it played a massive role in the story um so yeah go check this out i will be revealing my rating for the show on my full season review. You can probably predict what it will be, but this has been episode four of Lost Ollie, my review, my reaction, my honest opinion, and what a time it was. <laughs> I've just got to say one final thing. This truly, truly surprised me how good it was. Like, I thought it would be a good, joyful kids show. And there was so much more deeper than that. There was so much more to it. That just, they had so much build to the world. And I just, oh, just absolutely incredible. And I, I think I'm going to go pick the book up as well to see how uh, similar it is, how if the book's more kid-friendly. Um, yeah, I'm just in awe of what this is and more people need to go and check it out. Cause I don't think I, I, I probably I'm gonna check after this if any more if anyone's actually been checking it out. But ultimately I thank you guys for watching and sticking with me for the next for the past four episodes. And more reviews are coming for other shows, Tech and Bloodline, Lord of the Rings this week, House of the Dragon, Tales of the Walking Dead, Star Wars, Clone Wars is coming back and so much more. TV has just elevated this year. You know, I was saying to myself, picking the top 10 shows of this year is going to be one of the hardest experiences in in what I do, you know. Um, and I love being able to watch, you know, these movies and these TV shows and these things that come out of nowhere. This was something that wasn't advertised for a very long time. And then a trailer just randomly dropped and there was no marketing pre that, you know, like no posters or anything, unless I missed them. And, you know, it's been one hell of a time. So... I'm thankful that Netflix partnered with the people involved with this, and I can't wait. So maybe, maybe we'll dive into more in the future. Maybe there'll be spin-offs, but we'll have to wait and see. So thank you for watching. As always, hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and be sure to check out all my future videos if you're a fan of a variety of stuff. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.